Memorial Day commemorates all U.S. service members who died while in military service. The recognition of fallen soldiers is both solemn and celebratory. Our Jenny Day attended the Red Lake Nation ceremony today and tells us more about those who have served our country. The 21 gun salute is a ceremonial act often performed at military funerals. So on a day designated to those who died for our freedom, it couldn't be a more appropriate way to honor the fallen heroes. As families, it's a scary thing for us to see our, our young men and women go into the military service, but uh, it's also an honor. It, it makes us feel good to see them come home and and uh, the ones that don't come home, unfortunately, will, will, they'll never be forgotten. So that's why this day is so special. It's estimated that 500 Red Lake members have served our country and about 20 are currently on active duty. Vietnam War vets Jim Loud and Robert Cook use today to reflect on the past and remember their comrades who have gone before them. I think about them about every day. When Cook was drafted, he looked to his elders and asked what the experience might be like. And although he set out to protect his reservation, he returned with a much greater respect for the entire nation. Some of them told me that uh, we as warriors have to you know, step up to the plate and, and, and serve our country. And I, I always had it in my heart that I'm serving my reservation here, but I came to understand when I served with all of the other troops over there from, you know, we were, they were white men, black men, yellow men, anybody that was under our, you know, under our government. Once I got out there to see that, you know, to see the, uh, how all of the, we got together to fight this war, you know, from all walks of life. Well, for many of these men, it's a day to remember the past, but for one woman, it's just the beginning for her son. My 20-year-old son graduated from college on Friday, and on Tuesday, he went into the Army. He, like many others, is giving his contribution to the U.S. because it's family tradition. Grandpa did it, his dad did it, it was his turn. Following his footstep, I guess. So on this Memorial Day, we honor the brave men and women who united and made this country a better place, and remember those who are still on that journey. We have a lot of young men over there, and we want to see them all come home. Jenny Day, Lakeland News. The Red Lake Honor Guard used to travel around to different cemeteries on Memorial Day, but now in order to bring that tradition back, they need more veterans willing to participate. So for now, it'll be held at the new Seven Clans Events Center. 